EDSS, or Expanded Disability Status Scale, which is used for uh, assessment of level of disability in multiple sclerosis, uh, has been used for years. Uh, in fact, the predecessor of this scale was used for the very first multicenter study in multiple sclerosis, which was uh, published back in 1970 by Rose. Uh, and Ever since then, we seem to continue using a very similar scale called EDSS or Kursky scale, which basically assesses the functionality and level of disability of MS patients, mostly based on their uh, ambulatory status. And that is unfortunate because uh, walking is not what makes us humans obviously. However, it's very important function, and I think that the use of EDSS reflects our society, which may be judging uh, individuals based on their physical performance more than their, for example, cognitive performance. But I would like to point out that the uh, most common reason for uh, disability in young adults with multiple sclerosis is cognitive uh, disability. And that, unfortunately, is not being captured that well by the EDSS. So therefore, it's basically a scale that has been classic, has been in use for many years, and has its own limitations, but we still continue using it because we don't have anything better. Currently, in the clinical trials being conducted for the long-term or disease-modifying therapy in multiple sclerosis uh, involve several classical outcome measures, such as analyzed relapse rate, uh, EDSS scores or changes on EDSS scores, and radiologic or imaging MRI outcomes, which could be the new lesions, newly enlarged lesions, and active gadolinium-enhancing lesions. Uh, some of the studies also involve uh, some uh, MRI measures such as the T1 holes and volumetric studies as well. So we are getting more sophisticated when it comes to the uh, paraclinical evaluations such as MRI, and this is very good because MRI uh, metrics are most objective, and they are the only reliable uh, biomarker we currently have. It is used for both diagnosis of multiple sclerosis and as an outcome measure, uh, helping us understand uh, whether or not the patient is responding to the current disease-modifying therapy.